Welcome to our review on making polymers. First thing we need to understand then is that when we're talking about a polymer, we're talking about a very large molecule. And they're made when many monomers join together. And a monomer is a small molecule that actually makes up the polymer. And in our polymers, a monomer is an alkene. So the key thing to remember here is monomers are alkenes and many monomers joining together makes a polymer. They do like this as a six mark question and what they're looking for there when they ask you to describe polymerization is the fact that we're going to be joining large numbers of monomer molecules together to make a polymer and that the monomers are alkenes. They're the key points to remember. So what we've actually got on the next little box there is you can see the names of our polymers. So polyethene is made from ethene monomers. Polypropene made from propene monomers. So if you look at the name, the bit in brackets is the name of the monomer. And if we need to write the name of a polymer ever, all you do is look at the monomer name and write the word poly in front of it. So if we had styrene monomers and wanted to know them, the name of the polymer, it would be polystyrene. At the very bottom there, what we've got are the displayed formulas. And every so often they like to ask you to draw the displayed formula of either the monomer or the polymer when they give you the other one. So on the left hand side, we've got the monomer, ethene. We know that's the monomer because it's got the double bond between the carbons. If we were asked to turn that into a polymer, what we do is remove the double bond from between the carbons, draw it as a single bond, then put two bonds sticking out from the carbons and put a bracket around it, as you can see. It's also good practice to write a little n in the bottom right corner of the bracket, just so that we know that that's repeated many times over. If, however, we started with the displayed formula of the polymer on the right hand side, to draw the monomer, what we do, take away the brackets, take away the bonds extending out of the brackets from the carbons and put a double bond between them. In terms of the conditions we need in order to actually carry out this polymerization reaction to make our polymers, we're going to need two things. We're going to need a high pressure and a catalyst. So remember those two conditions for the process of polymerization, high pressure and catalyst. So the type of polymerization we're looking at here is something called an addition polymerization because we're adding together lots of monomers. And what we need to remember is that those monomer molecules are unsaturated because they've got a double bond present and it's because they're unsaturated and have that double bond that they can react together to form the saturated polymer molecule. And remember saturated means it's all single bonds.